from the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Monday, May 23rd, 2022. I'm Chrissy Davies, filling in for D-Ray Knight. Starbucks is pulling out of the Russian market. In a memo to employees Monday, the Seattle coffee giant said it decided to close its 130 stores and no longer have a brand presence in Russia. Starbucks said it will continue to pay its nearly 2,000 Russian employees for six months and help them transition to new jobs. Starbucks Russian stores are owned and operated by Alicia Group, a Kuwait-based franchise operator. Starbucks had suspended all business activity in Russia on March 8th due to the war in Ukraine. A Ukrainian court has sentenced a 21-year-old Russian soldier to life in prison for killing a Ukrainian civilian. It is the first conviction for war crimes since Russia's invasion three months ago. The soldier had pleaded guilty and testified that he shot the man after being ordered to do so. The sentencing came as the United Nations said the three-month-old war had helped push the number of people displaced worldwide to the highest level on record. More than 100 million people have been driven from their homes across the globe. Grinding battles in the Donbass where Ukrainian and Russian forces are fighting town by town have forced many civilians to flee their homes. In one of the busiest corridors for illegal border crossings, Cubans, Colombians, and Venezuelans are often released to pursue asylum in the United States. Meanwhile, Hondurans struggle to be allowed to pursue asylum after entering the country. The opposite fortunes illustrate the dual nature of the border enforcement under pandemic-era limits on seeking asylum, known as Title 42 authority. President Joe Biden wanted to end them Monday, but a federal judge in Louisiana issued a nationwide injunction that keeps them intact. Some nationalities are heavily affected by Title 42, while others aren't. And now let's head closer to home with Amy Rose. South Dakota Wildland Fire teamed up with the National Guard this past weekend for a federally mandated ground and aviation recertification at Angostura Reservoir. The training ensures that when a fire breaks out that requires air support, pilots are ready to fly and ground crews are ready to effectively communicate. The Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled a sex crime conviction doesn't require that there's an actual victim. The court this week upheld the conviction of a man stemming from a sting operation during the 2017 Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Carlosita Slim argued he was just looking for a massage when he responded to an ad on the Backpage website under the headline, Women Seeking Men. Slim was actually responding to an ad that was a sting setup and unknowingly texted a special agent with South Dakota's Division of Criminal Investigation. Slim argued that since there was no victim, he was wrongly convicted. The appeals court disagrees. Let's take a slice of Hollywood. Doctor Strange and his multiverse got to linger a little longer atop the box office this weekend while Tom Cruise waits in the wings. Marvel's Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was the top-earning film of the weekend for the third straight week, bringing in $31.6 million in North American theaters. Downton Abbey, A New Era, made a strong showing in second place with $16 million. No real blockbuster competition for Doctor Strange, which surpassed the $800 million mark to become the year's top grossing film. Next week, Top Gun Maverick arrives on a wave of hype for Memorial Day weekend. Let's look ahead at the forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Showers and thunderstorms likely today, otherwise mostly cloudy, a high of 57. Partly cloudy, 37 into the overnight. A slight chance for showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday morning into a partly cloudy Tuesday afternoon and a high of 41. Wednesday, sunny skies and a high of 67. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight and Amy Rose. I'm Chrissy Davies, filling in. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacques. For D. Ray Knight, I'm Chrissy Davies.